My name is Tashi Norbu. I am a Tibetan painter now in Holland. And uh, in, the, in the 1996, I have done this painting while I was working for His Holiness the Dalai Lama's private office in Dharamsala. I'm one of the seven artists there during that time. Honored to be working for His Holiness Dalai Lama. And then when I made this painting, it took, I did one of the most detailed painting ever made for Dalai Lama, actually. And uh, this took 12 months for me and finished in uh, 1997 when His Holiness Dalai Lama s signed this painting with blessed on this painting also. Shakyai Gelong, Buddhist monk, Dalai Lama. Dalai is a Mongolian word for Dalai Lama. And then 1997, June 27, that's how we write in Tibetan. So Dalai Lama is a name given by the Alden Khan, the grandson of uh, Chinggis Khan. This is a portrait of Dalai Lama with a realism face and then uh, the hailer the, is written in uh, Sanskrit, Om Mani Pembe Hong, taken around. And this is painted in a real gold, uh, uh, 20, 24 karat gold. And this, uh, in fact, is a sunbeam. And then he sits on the lion throne as a leader of Tibet. Uh, and all these details here, uh, the brocade design we use in traditional Tibetan brocade. So like f for the throne, the, the seat, the backside also, you will see um, the clouds, flower, and um, the five element that sits behind. This is all um, done traditionally, correct? And then you see all, again the white scarf here behind to bring luck. And um, this whole throne is used also in the, in the pa paintings made of the Karmapas also. And then this style of a dragon holding the, the precious jewels. And uh, the, basically this is a lion throne. And he sits on the three, uh, um, more like a cushions, but uh, it's, we use that. It's a different ranks for different lamas. So we have this also. This is a Samya monastery, the first uh, monastery of Tibet. It was, in fact, built to uh, protect uh, Buddhism, Buddhist culture. In fact, it was uh, the third mightiest king of Tibet, the Chizong Duzan. He invited Padmasambhava and uh, Kenjin Shivaso in Tibet, and then they built this uh, monastery. And it is said that the uh, Padmasambhava flew in the sky and then the Kenjin Shivaso has made the lines. And then they draw the line. In between that line, they build this monastery according to the measurement of the mandala. And that is the, since then, uh, this monastery was built in the daytime by the human beings and in the night with the spirits. The snow line that you can see in the Tibetan national flag, this is used as the king of Tibet, so the snow lines are used. Rida Pomo, that is the two deer, male and the female one, symbol of uh, fertility, in fact. And also we use this often in the Tibetan monastery because Buddha has given his first teaching in the deer park. That's why this is used. This is typical Tibetan prayer flags. And it goes through the, the sky blue, the, the red sand, the vegetation green, the yellow earth, and the white flag. And it's like uh, that you see in the um, Himalayas. And it is written uh, again, uh, all the letters, uh, Om Mani Peme Hong, all the mantras written in a uh, gold line uh, with the real gold uh, paints. Um, you can read them, I can still read them. Um, it can be read by the microscope. I made this painting, studied the classical Tibetan art for seven years. Uh, for me, it's my graduation part, which I wanted to do before I start uh, contemporary paintings. So, after 
learning so long uh, traditional paintings, Tibetan paintings, I could, when I finished my modern uh, art school in uh, Belgium, then for me now it's very much I could use both culture and uh, use from the classical uh, images and so to make it in the modern, most modern form, which is also upgrading the classical art, the traditional part. So now in the museum you will also see the very modern uh, unicorn paintings done in the flowers, roses, which is completely out of the tradition. But when you look at it clearly, you see all the features of the unicorn and the paintings, how they are done. It's classical uh, paintings, but painted in the most modern form, like very much like expressionism. So this is one of the most refined painting that I've done in the past inside Tibetan classical art. Thank you.